On has added a new trail shoe to its lineup. This is the Cloud Vista, and I think it's their lightest trail shoe they've released, and it might be one of their most versatile. After a few runs, I'm ready to give you my first impressions of the On Cloud Vista. Just a quick disclaimer though, that On did provide the shoe to me at no charge for the purpose of review. However, this does not affect my opinion of the shoes and it is unbiased like all my videos. All right, now let's jump into the specs. So I'm not sure the exact stack height of the shoe, but it does have a seven millimeter drop. The weight is 9.9 .9 ounces, and I put this shoe in the trail category. So now let's go ahead and talk about what's new in the shoe overview. So the upper has vamp mesh with TPU mudguard. There's some light padding around the ankle and the heel and a unpadded, very thin tongue. There are some cables around the midfoot to reinforce the lockdown. The midsole uses Helion foam, which is their EVA OBC blend with cloud tech elements aka those holes that go all the way through the midsole. There is a plastic speedboard plate in there as well that helps add some stability and some spring. The outsole uses mission grip rubber with lugs that aren't overly aggressive and are a bit more spaced out compared to some of the other trail shoes. So talking about the fit of the shoe, I thought that the OnCloud Monster had a pretty perfect fit compared to some of the On shoes I've tried on. This one wasn't quite as perfect. I thought that the fit and the volume was maybe just a smidge on the short side. However, even though through all my runs, I haven't noticed any issues with it, haven't had any blisters or rubbing or anything. So I'd say true to size, question mark, you might wanna try half a size up depending on the type of trails you're doing. So now moving on to the ride of this shoe. I thought that it was super smooth. I tried it out on various trains from some more technical single track to just gravel roads and it performed well on all of those. The terrain here in Colorado is pretty dry, so I didn't have super muddy conditions to test on, but even on the technical and rocky trails that I ran on, it gripped pretty well, and then that speedboard in there actually helped act as almost a rock plate, where even though it isn't the thickest midsole, I was still comfortable running over some of those sharp rocks because there was that protection from the plate in there. I would say it felt really good on gravel as well, doing like road to trail, it is perfect for that. But I will say, I don't think I would run over like 13 miles maybe in the shoe. I just would prefer something with more cushion, something a little more plush. However, I think it is a nice and nimble shoe. So even though most of the trails were dry, there was one day where there were some muddy patches and when I ran through them, the grip seemed all right. But one thing I did notice was that a lot of the mud seemed to stick in these grooves and it didn't come out very easily. So while the lugs themselves shed the mud, these actual flex grooves where the cloud pod elements are, didn't seem to want to shed them. So that's just one thing to note. All right, now I'm gonna do a quick comparison to another trail shoe that I've been running in lately, and that is the Pegasus Trail 4 from Nike. So I think both of these shoes are great road to trail shoes. Neither of them are overly cushioned in terms of stack height, or neither of them also have super aggressive lugs. So that's why I think they're really good at cruising on gravel. However, I think that the plate in the OnCloud Vista makes it better for those technical trains. Like I said, gives you more protection for those sharp rocks. While when I ran on some technical rocky parts in the Peg Trail 4, I was just feeling all those rocks poke up into my foot because the midsole is so soft and there's no plate in there. That being said, for longer runs, I think I would probably choose the Peg Trail just because the cushion is there for me. It's nice and springy and light and bouncy and I prefer it in that sense. Overall, I don't think you can go wrong with either as a road to trail shoe. However, I think that the OnCloud Vista is a little more versatile since it can handle some of those more rocky terrains with the extra protection. So overall, I think that the OnCloud Vista is a great kind of do-it-all trail shoe where you can do road to trail, crush it on those gravel runs, but also take it up on those technical rocky single tracks. However, I would kind of stay away from some muddier conditions 
and I also wouldn't do like any ultras in this personally. I'd kind of keep it to some maybe shorter, kind of faster runs. So I am gonna be putting a lot more miles on this shoe, trying it out on a bunch of different trails, and I will let you know my final verdict in my full review. Subscribe so you don't miss that, and as always, keep on running. <laughs>